All right, thank you so much for joining us. We are gonna be walking through uh, different tips and different techniques to help you interact with the Word of God in a more personal and a deeper way. And I'm really excited about uh, giving you these tips or things that I've learned over the years from uh, many different people. Uh, some of them have been tweaked and changed, uh, but things that I have uh, used in my walk with the Lord that have been very fruitful, and I hope that they are for you as well. So we're going to just jump right in. Uh, so the first reading tip is quite simple, and a lot of the tips will be simple, um, and they can be used kind of at that basic level, or they can be used to take you into an even deeper understanding of the Word of God. And that's what's amazing about um, these, these study tips. So the first one, again, it's very simple, uh, but it's very powerful. And it's, it's simply this, read the whole book in one setting. Now, before you uh, think I'm crazy, I'm not talking about all 66 books of the Bible, right? Obviously, that is one whole book, and it's important to know the context of the whole book. But in this case, I'm talking about choose your favorite epistle, choose your favorite gospel, choose your favorite Old Testament prophet, right? Choose your favorite book uh, as a place to begin and read it from cover to cover. Remember that these books, especially the epistles, the gospels, right? They are written as one book or one letter. Uh, so they are written uh, with that kind of um, consistency throughout. And they're not meant to just be read one page or one chapter at a time. Um, you know, we don't do that with any other book that we have, right? You don't just sit down with a novel in front of you and read two chapters a day. That would be kind of absurd. And yet we do it all the time with the Bible. So my challenge for you, my tip is to sit down and to read uh, the book from cover to cover. And then do it again tomorrow, right? And the next day. So the idea is, isn't just sit down and read it one time. If you're really seeking to grow from it and gain understanding in it, it's great to build that context. So on Monday, I want you to sit down and I want you to read the book from cover to cover. And then on Tuesday, I want you to sit down and read the same book from cover to cover. And on when, I think you get the point, right? The idea is that all week, you're going to just be immersed in that book. And it's going to help you gain a deeper understanding. If you think you have a basic or general understanding of that book now, just wait until we're done with this series. And I can promise you that that understanding, no matter where it is on the scale, that understanding will grow. And there will be fruit in your life from it. It's a really exciting thing. The other thing that I'm going to encourage you or challenge you to do as you're reading through it, you're just casually reading, but I also want you to take notes. If you're anything like me, I can read something and then at the end of it have no idea what I read. And maybe that's just a sad reality in my life, but I have to imagine that there's someone out there listening that can share uh, that mindset or that uh, issue with me. So sit down, read it cover to cover, but take notes as you go. And, and a note is just anything that stands out to you. A lot of times, um, those are the things that God is highlighting, the things that you notice, the things that stand out, are things that God might be using to speak to you. And you want to write those down as you go. And then when you're finished reading, read, take notes. And when you're finished, go back and just quickly review those notes. It helps settle them deep into your mind, and then you can also begin to use those notes to think on through the day. What was God saying? What was he highlighting? What was he pointing out that he wants you to remember? So read cover to cover, take notes as you go, review those notes at the end of your reading, and then finally at the end of the week, once you've done that four or five times during the week, just pick two or three things from all of the notes that you've compiled, two or three things that have stood out the most, and just write a review on those things or dive into those a little bit deeper um, and, and share in writing or, or, or telling somebody else why those things stood out and what stood out about them and, and why those were highlighted. Uh, why was God or how was God speaking to you with those two or three things that really stood out? So that's the challenge this week. Again, it's very simple. Pick your favorite book, Read it cover to cover on Monday, on Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. Take notes as you read, just simple, small things that stand out to you. Review those notes after you have written them, after you're done reading for the day. And then at the end of the week, compile two or three of those things, those notes, and just write a summary of how God was using those things, those verses, those questions, those observations to speak to you during the week. And I trust and I hope that that one 
uh, that one exercise will enrich your time in the Word this week. I look forward to being with you again next week and giving you yet another tool to use in your toolbox as you seek to understand the Word of God in a more personal and a more intimate way.